What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick little video and show you how you can hack a typical um, computer power supply and turn it into a 12 volt DC power source. Now th this can do a lot of different things. People turn these into bench power supplies and you know some crazy stuff but I'm just going to keep this very simple for beginners and show you step by step how to do to to turn this into a basically just a DC power source, 12 volt DC power source. Alright so the first thing that we're going to do is we're basically going to just cut off all of these connectors. Um, all these guys need to come off and then cut through these little zip ties that hold everything together. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to gather up all the similar um, colored wires together and I'll show you what we do from there. Okay so we've got all the uh, the heads of these cut off and um, you'll notice that there's primarily there's yellow, red, orange, black, there's like one purple, one gray, one brown, one blue, and one green. Now the green one we definitely want to pay attention to because it is basically the the wake up uh, wire it tells the the power supply to turn on basically this would have connected to the motherboard in the computer and when you hit the power button of your computer it would have triggered the power supply to turn on so what we need to do is take one of the just one of the the ground wires and we need to connect these two together and when we when we touch them together I don't have this plugged in, but I've, I've already tested it and it will turn, turn the power supply on. So what we want to do is we want to solder these together and you know wrap it in some electrical tape or something like that. To uh, So basically any time that we have this plugged in it's going to turn itself on. Okay, so now we've got all the wires bundled together here according to their colors. We've got this one soldered up and that's uh, to make sure that this, this thing turns on. The black is obviously the ground or the, the zero volt reference and I won't bore you to tears with the details on that. Um, and the yellow is the 12 volt rail. Those are the only ones that we really care about for the purposes of this video. We've got these bundled. The rest of these are all bundled together. We might use them in a different video later, but for now, just leave them leave them alone. We're only worried about these two right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to strip the ends of these off, and then we're going to solder them all together. Okay, so here we go. I went ahead and uh, attached these to some terminals just so that I could, you know, connect some devices to it for my purposes, but. Uh, you can connect it however you want. I've seen people use knobs, connect them to those knurled knobs that you can attach pretty much any wire to, whatever you want to do. Um, so these are the three main things we need to be concerned with. The rest of these we'll deal with in a different video. So let's go ahead and test this out. I've got my uh, multimeter here and we'll connect the power and see what happens. Okay, we're all hooked up here, so we're going to go ahead and turn this on. Fans come on, and we've got our 12 volts. Now you'll notice, you know, this is 12.1 volts, so that's going to be perfect for powering anything that needs 12 volts DC. But it's not high enough to charge 12 volt batteries, so don't don't think you're going to be able to use this. At least in this form, we can we can use some of these other wires to make a battery charger later. But for this simple video demonstration, 
we really only need to solder or connect three things together and we've got our 12 volt power source so pretty easy uh, hopefully you guys understood if you have any questions please ask I I try to answer every comment and uh, hopefully this is helpful to you thanks for watching